unlike uh, some other companies that we see in the space, Horizon Aircraft is really grounded in operational realities. We're not building a fancy machine that eventually we'll find the mission for. We started at the end user, and we're building a machine that the end users are going to be able to use very well in the real world. Bad weather operations, cold weather operations, like I said, the machine goes a lot faster and has a lot more layers of contingency on board than some of the other machines that we see. So being rooted in a sort of military operational mindset, uh, building a really tough airplane that is going to be awesome. Uh, the Kyber Deck 7 is the EV-12 the defense sector needs because it has that additional uh, useful load, that additional capacity to carry representative loads that really matter to defense. And in that I would count really, that, you know, uh, a walk-on passenger with carry-on is much lighter than a, than a fully equipped uh, commando soldier with all his weapons and gear to go to war. The additional systems that need to be fitted to the aircraft for military use also mean that you must have additional lift available. So those two things coupled together mean that the Kavrit with its uh, seven-seater civilian configuration can absorb and can deliver missions of uh, military operations. It's an airplane that's really easy to equip for air-to-air -air refueling, so you can go tremendous range if you want. And also, we're, we will produce a uh, variant that the wings fold, so it will fit inside the C-17 that Scania Forces has, so you can deploy it anywhere in the world at a heartbeat. Horizons Aircraft matters because what it does is it changes the paradigm for VTOL. It changes it in two ways. One is in range, and then the other is in speed. It does it in an affordable way as well. The current aircraft that can do 200 plus knots and that can land vertically and do significant range, they're the MV-22, the V-75, the Airbus Racer, or the Sikorsky X-2 Defiant. Each of those have significant mechanical complexity in a way that our aircraft just doesn't. You know, often, some of the most complex missions are limited by the slowest aircraft in the fleet. Oftentimes that's going to be a helicopter that's going to go and pick up a downed pilot from high enemy lines or maybe insert some special forces into a certain location and typically that helicopter is you know a limiting factor. Our aircraft goes about twice as fast as a helicopter and I would have loved to have an X-7 in the fleet for some of those really complicated missions. It would have been amazing.